Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the missing angles in the following kite diagrams. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, we have a kite K-I-T-E with angles X, Y, 146 degrees and 47 degrees. We have to find the angles X and Y. Recall that when you look at the property of a kite, I'm going to give an illustration below. We have one pair of opposite angles equal, that is the angle subtended by the long and short side. So this angle is equal to this angle. The short side is shown and they are equal. The long sides are also equal. So the angle subtended, like I said earlier, by the long and the short side are equal. So looking at the diagram shown, the long side is your Ki and Ke. The short side, we have the It and Et. The angle subtended, which is I and E, are equal. So therefore, Y or the angle Y equals 146 degrees. Also, a kite is a quadrilateral and all the sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So therefore, to find X, we know that angle K plus angle I plus angle T plus angle E equals 360 degrees. The reason being it's a quadrilateral Angle K, that's X, plus angle I, 146 degrees, plus angle T, that's 47 degrees, plus angle E, 146 again, equals 360 degrees. If we put that together, we have X plus 339 degrees equals 360 degrees. Using the balance method, we are going to subtract 339 degrees from both sides. So we have X plus 339 degrees minus 339 degrees. Remember the balance method, whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. 339 minus 339, that cancels. I'm left with X equals 360 degrees minus 339 degrees, that's 21 degrees. So my Y is 146 degrees and my X is 21 degrees. In the second example, going back to the properties of a kite, if we have a kite, as illustrated below, the longest diagonal bisects the angles. So this angle equals to this angle and this angle equals to this angle. So therefore, in the kite ABCD, as shown, if this angle is 29 degrees, this angle is also 29 degrees. And if the angle at D is X, the angle here is also X. Also, a kite, if we have a kite as shown, the diagonals intersect at 90 degrees, the form an angle 90 here. So therefore, we have this angle as 90, this as 90, this as 90, and this as 90. I'm going to tag these triangles, one, two, three, and four. To find X, using the triangle, let's call the point here E, using the triangle ADE, if I draw that here, that's a right angle triangle, I have the 90 degrees, we have A here to be 18, and we have D to be X. To find X, X plus 18 degrees plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. And the reason being the sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. We have X plus 108 degrees equals 180 degrees. Using the balance method again, I'm going to subtract 108 degrees from both sides. 
minus 108 degrees equals 180 degrees minus 108 degrees. This cancels 108 minus 108, that's zero. I'm left with x equals 72 degrees. To find y, I'm going to be using triangle 3. If I draw that out here, I have a right angle triangle. This is 90. This is point E. This is point E. This is A. And this is my B. B is 29. And A is Y. Like I did earlier, sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So therefore, angle Y plus 29 degrees plus 90 degrees, which is the angle at E, equals 180 degrees. The reason being it's a triangle. Y plus 109 or 119 degrees equals 180 degrees. Balance method, I'm going to take out 119 degrees from both sides. 180 degrees minus 119 degrees. This cancels. 119 minus 119, that's 0. I'm left with y equals 61 degrees. Thanks for watching. Bye.